ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Brittany done got sent to this Russian prison. And I had the video here, but it's not going to play, unfortunately. So two weeks ago, she was moved to a penal colony and there was somebody who went there. They were from Russia as well. Let me see if I can pull it up. And they were talking about it. Like they were protesting against Putin a few years ago. And so they ended up getting sent to that same penal colony and the lady was saying it was like really horrible. You were severely mistreated and they would play mind games with the prisoners. Like they might take, cause I guess this prison is like outside and you know, rush is very cold. And so they would play mind games, like taking all the prisoners warm clothing, you know, like their long johns, their jackets and saying that y'all have to work outside in the cold and y'all can blame this one person before, because of that. So they might point you out and say that it's your fault that everybody's working out in the cold without no jackets and stuff on. And now all the prisoners are turning on you. They play a lot of these weird games. They starve these women. I'm sure probably, you know, sexual assaults, all types of stuff happen as well. Well, we heard that Brittany was getting sent to this place. Um, we even posted this story, matter of fact. Let me share my screen. We posted this on Twitter. On November 9th. So we wrote American basketball player Brittany Grinner jailed in Russia in what the U.S. is calling a wrong, wrongful detention. She's being moved to a penal colony, her attorney said on Wednesday. This was on November 9th. Do y'all understand that nobody has seen this woman since? They can't, they can't find her. Um, exclusive, Brittany Grinner taken to a penal colony in Russia. She's facing nine years. Basically, the uh, I'm trying to see if this is an update. Is this an update? Okay. Brittany Grinner is gone and her whereabouts in Russia could be unknown for weeks. So they shipped her off and no one has talked to her since we posted that story at the beginning of November. It's now the 17th. So they're saying here, two grueling weeks of uncertainty for the Grinner family. Uh, the Grinner family will have to endure a grueling two weeks of not knowing where it is, according to her lawyers. Alerts are given via official mail and normally take around 14 days to be received. Not to mention that the worst is yet to come. As the conditions in these poorly surveilled pen penal colonies are far harsher than what Brittany has faced till now in, Mos in her Moscow jail. She has found herself in since February 17th. <clears throat> the 265 day nightmare and counting for BG continues. In their most recent statement, Brittany Grinner's uh, lawyer said, neither Brittany's family, including her wife, Sherelle, or her Russian legal team will have any further statement or press availability at this time. So it's gotten very real. It's very scary. They don't know where this woman is at. They don't know she's dead or alive. Um, so it's a mess. And I just feel like this whole situation with her is a political pawn situation. I think the reason why they've kept her is because of the war and, you know, just everything that's going on. Um, they were initially trying to trade her for this arms dealer. Uh, Victor Booth. And if you guys don't know who he is, he was like, he was called like the pusher of death or something like that back in like the nineties. And he was like this huge, like he was an arms dealer. And basically he was supplying arms to many like war torn countries in Africa. So like a lot of like the warlords 
would meet with this Russian man and they'd pay him money and he would bring arms into Africa. He was basically supplying both sides of the conflict, like in Liberia and in many other countries that were having wars, like civil wars breaking out all through Africa. And he was also supplying wars in the Middle East to terrorists. Um, he was supposedly trying to supply guns to kill U.S. troops. So he's a very dangerous man. And so Russia was initially asking that, okay, if we let Britney go, we want him. We want him back. He's been in the U.S. custody for the past 13 years. So Russia wanted him. And old man Joe Hoodie was entertaining it and says, well, you know, we might give you Britney. And then we also need that Marine. I forgot the Marine's name, something Walsh, my apologies. But they supposedly said that he was doing espionage in Russia. He said he was out there for a wedding child. He's been locked up for like three years. So they wanted to trade both of them <clears throat> for, for, Vic, for Victor, this, you know, global arms dealer. He's one of the most wanted men in like the late 90s, 2000s. Paul Whalen, thank you, uh, Mr. Krabs. I appreciate you. Paul Whalen, that's the, the other guy's name. Um, I don't know who stepped in and said, no, they're like, absolutely not. We're not, we're not trading. I'm sorry. We're just not going to do it. Brittany is literally a basketball player who got caught with a vape. This other guy was there for a wedding. Y'all claim that he was doing espionage and y'all want one, one of the, the most deadly <laughs> arms dealer of all times. So I don't, I don't know what's going to happen to Brittany at this point. So they decided against it. So I don't even know who they, who they can trade, you know, for her. So I believe uh, all these people that are stuck in this Russian limbo situation, um, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. I just hope she's okay. But it just, it sucks. I just couldn't even imagine, you know, not only being locked up for 217 days because of a vape, now they moved her to this penal colony, you know, where she has to do like hard labor. So it's very scary. Yeah, it's, it's very scary. But um, yeah, Lord of War, that is the movie. Um, a of the Creator, yep. Uh, Nicolas Cage played him, yep. Um, I don't know what they're going to do at this point. I think she's probably going to be there for a while. And people saying it's because she's black. It's not because she's black. I wish I would stop saying that. Um, there are white people that are also locked up in Russia for lesser crimes. Other countries do not play. It has nothing to do with her necessarily being black. Because if that's the case, Paul Wallen wouldn't be there. Remember, there's that old white teacher. He'd been sitting in that prison for about seven years. He had medical marijuana on him. So it's not because it's a race issue. That is how Russia gets down. Have y'all not ever watched Locked Up Abroad? You know what I'm saying? So I think the only thing that people can do right now is understand her situation, understand people's situation like Paul Wallen, Waylon, and stay out of certain countries and be, and be very understanding that a lot of countries don't play when it comes to drugs, you know, international drug stuff. Even if it seems petty here, our laws do not carry over. And especially if it's a country that we don't get along with. Like if this was Canada or even Mexico, she'd been home. But this is Russia. And we're literally, you know what I'm saying, they're in a war right now. So unless they get back, Victor... Booth, I don't know how she's going to get home. I don't even know if there's anybody they can trade for her. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's scary. She's in a really scary situation. So I'm just hoping that her family ends up hearing from her in the next, you know, 14 days or so. But so far, it's been over two weeks and nobody has heard from this woman. 
So it's just, it's really unfortunate. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.